Hi, welcome to this week's devotion, 365 Devotions for Kids from the Hands-On Bible. I want you to think about some things that you can't live without, okay? Food, that's one you can't live without. How about water? Definitely can't live without water. Did you know you can go longer without food than you can water? Yeah, we can't live without those. What about money? We really can't live without money because it pays for the food, pays for the water, pays for our house, pays for the electricity, the heat. What about the extracurriculars, like the sports that we're involved in, or the swim, or the dance, or cheerleading, or any number of things that we're involved in? Yep, you need money to pay for that. But do you know what sometimes happens with people? Is they become so focused on money that they don't think about anything else. They're not thinking about their friendships, their family, and any other things, but most importantly, they fail to focus on God. And yeah, we do need to save money for a rainy day or to save money for an emergency, but when that is our only focus and we're not thinking about the needs of others or we're just ignoring the people in our life because money becomes way more important. This week's scripture, the hot sun rises and the grass withers. The little flower droops and falls, and its beauty fades away. In the same way, the rich will fade away with all of their achievements. I don't know, when I read that one, it was kind of confusing. I was like, what is this about flowers dying and all of that? Think about the fall. We've got the trees, and they grow, and the leaves fall off, and they blow away, and they're gone. That's kind of how money can be. You spend it, and it's gone. But friendship will always be there. Family will always be there in some way. That's my question to you. If you're having a bad day, do you cuddle up with a $20 bill? <laughs> no. Will that $20 bill listen to you when you've had a bad day? Or if you've fallen and skinned your knee, will it kiss your knee to make it feel better or put a Band-Aid on it? No. No, that money will buy the Band-Aids. It will help you in certain circumstances. But it's remembering to put each thing in its place and put the importance on it that it needs. We don't ignore our friends and for money. We don't ignore our family for money. We make sure that we keep all of those in our lives. Most importantly, we don't forget about God. This week's activity is I want you to get on YouTube with an adult and listen to the song by the Beatles. It is called Can't Buy Me Love. Listen to the words on that one. I'll give you a couple. If you buy a diamond ring, my friend, it makes you feel all right. I'll get you anything, my friend. It makes you feel all right. Because I don't care too much for money. Money can't buy me love. Think about that one. Money can buy a lot of things but can it buy you love? And what's more important, money, material things, or love? Think about that one. Will you pray with me? Dear God, thank you for money. Please help me remember that money is only part of life and it isn't what matters most. Help me always remember that love and people matter more. Amen. Have a great day. We'll see you next time.